I work here. Some of you have met me before. I just had a laser done um, EVLT yesterday. Um, and so far, just a little achiness. I still have to work today, unfortunately. <laughs> so, um, just a little sore, not too bad. I have yet to take ibuprofen. The last time I took some was last night before I went to sleep. Um, I've had my compression stockings. Um, took off the bandaging this morning. I'm gonna put the stockings right back on. And now Dr. Sauce is gonna see how everything went. So first we told Nicole that she could have the day off today and she's the one that insisted on coming in. We were gonna give her like roses and chocolates and everything and she said, no, no, no. I will never <laughs> abandon my, my post for, for this. I'm here every day. So Nicole had uh, some pain in her leg. She's having some swelling, some aching. Apparently, when she drives Daniel to the office, she's always <laughs> complaining. What does she say, Daniel? Her legs hurt. Her legs hurt. So we finally decided we would do her EVLT. So we did it yesterday. And since we're in the office, we have a few minutes, we are doing her post EVLT. Now normally we would have waited maybe three or four days, but as you can see, there's uh, hardly anything to see. These are the areas where we tumest her leg. We had a little needle that we accessed and she has very minor bruising. She's been wearing a hose. And the goal of today's appointment is to make sure that her vein is closed. So this is her great saphenous vein, the proximal great saphenous vein. And I can tell, we can tell by the appearance of the vein that it's closed, it's, it's been heated up. And this vein continues up and joins her great saphenous. And you can see actually the valve here that's moving back and forth. Because what we did is we placed her laser fiber right behind the next valve, which was right here, and it's closed. We also look to make sure there's no blood clots, which is where the laser can come close down to the common femoral vein. And if you look at this on a side view, you can see a little bit better. You basically see this is her great saphenous vein where it enters her deep system, which is this little pipe right here. And then if you go back a little bit, we can get a good picture. Sometimes it's not perfect you'll see where the vein starts to be heated up and it's right behind the, the valve is basically right here. So the vein is closed, that's what we wanna do. It's gonna shrink up over the next few months. And then if we go, to, yeah, there's an area that's very tender <laughs> and on the ultrasound you can usually tell there's a little bit of inflammation because if you look, you'll see that it gets kind of real clear and bright here. That usually means there's a little local inflammation around that area. So we might've slowed down the draw, we might've we might have applied a little bit more heat of that little egg segment because it's, it's kind of bright and washed out. And then we pick up the vein again down here and it's closed all the way down to her knee. The next step will be to treat whatever is distal now that we've turned off the reflex coming down and we'll go down when she comes back in in a week or so. We'll do some ultrasound guided scleral therapy and, and finish up. And then her next step is she needs her other leg treated. So I think, uh, She's going to have that done as, as, as soon as possible.